Vidyagam. Great place to learn. Plants Plants are nature's gift. The basic parts of a plant are root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit and seed. Each part has a set of functions to do. Root The root is a part of the plant that usually grows under the soil. Roots can be of different shapes and sizes. Roots are of two types, tap root and fibrous root. Tap root Tap root has one main thick root. It grows from the radical in the seed and goes deep into the soil. Many small thin roots grow out from the main root. Plants such as carrot, beetroot, turnip, mango, neem, tamarind and gova have tap roots. Fibrous root A fibrous root consists of many thin roots of different sizes. They grow from the base of the stem and bunch together. They do not go deep into the soil. Plants such as grass, sugarcane, onion, paddy and corn have fibrous roots. Functions of root Fixation, absorption and storage of food. Root fixes the plant firmly to the soil. Without the roots, a plant would fall on the ground. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. In some plants, roots store food. Example, carrot, radish and beetroot. Stem The stem is the main part of the shoot system. It grows towards the sunlight. It looks green when it is young. Branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits grow from the stem. Herbs such as coriander and mint have a thin and weak stem. Trees such as peepal and banyan have very strong and thick stem called trunk. As trees grow older, their trunks grow wider. Functions of stem It supports the whole plant and transports food from leaf and water from root to various parts of the plant. Some stems store excess food in them, example potato and onion. Leaves Leaves originate from the surface of the stem. It is flat, thin and green. Leaves of different plants have different shapes, sizes and colors. Some leaves have even a specific smell. Functions of leaf Leaf prepares food for the plant with the help of water, carbon dioxide, sunlight and chlorophyll. This process is called photosynthesis. Hence, it is called the food factory of the plant. The loss of water in the form of water vapor happens through the tiny pores in the leaves. This process is called transpiration. It gives cooling effect to the plant. Leaves of some plants are edible and rich in nutrients. Example, greens and cabbage. Flowers Flowers are the most beautiful part of the plant. They are of different shapes, sizes, colors and fragrance. A flower develops from the bud. The soft and brightly colored part of a flower is called petal. The green part that lies under the petal and supports it is called sepal. The middle of the flower has two parts called the stamen and pistil. Functions of flower It develops into fruit and helps plant to reproduce. Fruits and seeds Fruit is the fleshy part of a plant. Fruits develop from flowers. Most fruits have seeds. New plants are grown from seeds. Some fruits have only one seed. Example, apricot, mango, coconut and peach. Some fruits have many seeds. Example, papaya, pomegranate, watermelon and orange. Some fruits are seedless. Example, pineapple and banana. Plants and their habitat. Plants grow almost everywhere on earth, that is on land and in water. 
Plants that grow on land is called terrestrial plants and plants that grow in water is called aquatic plants. The natural home of a plant is called its habitat. Plants make suitable adjustment with their surroundings to meet their requirements. This is known as adaptation. Terrestrial or land plants. The plants that grow on the land are of different habitats such as Deserts, mountains, plains and coastal areas. Plants in desert These plants grow in hot, dry and sandy places. Deserts get very less rainfall and experience high temperature. Hence, there is scarcity of water. Leaves are changed to spines to reduce the loss of water. The stem is green and fleshy. They store water and produce food. These plants have a long root that goes deep into the soil. Example, Opentia, Date Palm and Oliveira. Plants on Mountain These plants grow in cold and freezing places and adapt to cool weather in mountain. Trees are conical in shape. This shape allows snow to slide from the trees easily. Needle-like leaves help them to survive in cold conditions like snow. These trees do not shed leaves. They have cones instead of flowers. These cones protect the seeds during harsh winter. Example, pine tree. Plants in plains. These plants need to adapt to both dry and cold conditions. They grow in warmer climate and usually shed their leaves in winter to protect themselves from cold. They have flat and broad leaves. They have thick and woody stem. Example, mango, banyan and teak. Plants in coastal areas. They are tall and mostly straight. Their leaves are called frond. The frond look like feathers. It protects plants from wind. These plants are tolerant to saline water. Example, coconut tree. Water plants are aquatic plants. These plants grow in water bodies like ponds and lakes. They are classified into free-floating plants, fixed-rooted plants and submerged plants. Free-floating plants. These are found on the surface of the water. They freely float with the help of spongy body filled with air. They have poorly developed roots. Example, water hyacinth and pistia. Fixed rooted plants. These plants have roots that are fixed in the bottom of the water bodies. These plants have air tubes in their stem that help them float. Their leaves are broad and coated with wax to make them waterproof. Example, water lily and lotus. Submerged plants. These plants are completely submerged in the water. Their stem is thin and leaves are very small. There is no opening on the leaf surface. They breathe through stem. Example, valisneria and hydrilla. Thanks for watching.